Hey guys, what's going up? It's Mr. Tasty and I have another review here today, a very special treat, one of my favorite top fast food uh, burgers ever. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame, though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. One of my burger challenges that I said I was going to do, and that's in and out the 5x5, five five, or the Penta Burgers, I like to call it. Um, before again, you can you can just tell it's going to be a good a good review because the grease on this uh, on this bag here and it is quite heavy, so I'm actually getting kind of nervous. On a side note here, have you ever been inside of a, an In and Out? And I think they're all kind of kind of built the same. You go in there, the bathrooms on the right, the counters ahead of you, and, and the restaurants on the left. Every single In and Out I've ever been to has been kind of the same layout. I don't know if it's that way in the other states in the West Coast that have In and Out or the rest of the parts of California. So uh, let's just get into it. So today, comes in the bag, and eh, the guy in the register wasn't really thinking because he just put this napkin on, uh, on, on the top of my hamburger here and it's just like all grease. So before I begin, I'm gonna, you, don't, you can't use napkins. You can't use napkins. You need like a towel for this because it is a bit messy. So for those of you who are on the East Coast or haven't had in and out unfortunately, uh, the burger is considered by many to be a very wet burger. It's very juicy. Uh, so breaking it down, I'll kind of whip it out. I'm going to try to do this review on my lap. I don't have a plate with me. So, um, uh, yeah. And I am trying new lighting with this video, so don't blame me if this video is just complete crap. So, it's a work in progress. Uh, okay, so I need to pull this thing out just to show you. So anyways, I go to In-N-Out, I pull up there, I didn't pull up there, but I park and I go inside and say, hey, I want a 5x5. Five five. They go, you can't do a 5x5. Five five. I was like, okay, they give you a 4x4. Four four. I was like, let me get a 4x4 four four and like an extra cheeseburger. So if you ever try to do a 5x5 five five challenge from In-N-Out, uh, you can't do that. You can just buy a 4x4 four four, then get an extra patty, I think an extra burger. I had to get an extra cheeseburger and then just take the patty and put it on the 4x4 four four to make a 5x5. Five five. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. See? <laughs> So without a doubt, this is the biggest burger I've ever eaten up to this point in my life. I can't even get it out of the bag. There it is. Look at this. So I did some research before I went and uh, apparently the cheeseburger with onion is about I want to say 400 to 500 calories, and this is five times that. Well, just the just the actual just the actual beef patties in here. Um, I, so I think roughly between 2,200 and 2,600 calories in this bad boy. Um, so before I begin, a little bit about uh, In and Out. So in and Out was actually founded, I think in 19, 1920, 1948. And it's privately owned. It's not a it's not a, uh, a franchise, unfortunately. And uh, started in SoCal, and uh, they've been making hamburgers in kind of the old-fashioned style for quite some time. Um, I think their quality in terms of fast food burgers are a little bit better than, let's say, like Burger King, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, other other places too. And um, they've been around for a while. And uh, if you don't know, if you've been in California and you haven't seen an in and out then I feel bad for you. <laughs> so anyways, let's see if I can take this bad boy apart and put it over here. I'm gonna put like a towel down on my, uh, on my, uh, oh sh I'm dripping all over the place. This thing is a mess. Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh, it's delicious. So the due to five by five, I'm gonna take both these burgers out comes with ketchup. So you don't think I'm cheating to do the 5x5 five five challenge or the Penta Burger challenge. I'm gonna be taking the regular cheeseburger, taking this stuff out, putting it into the 4x4 five, four four to make a 5x5. Five five. So just don't, so you don't think I'm cheating here. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. You gotta be patient with me. This is probably gonna be a, one, of a, one of my longest videos because I have to put it together and then I have to eat it. And I'm gonna be telling you about it. So, you need not worry. Ugh. I told my friends at work that I was gonna do a five by five challenge. They're like, yeah, In-N-Out has pretty good burgers. In-N-Out has some of the best burgers in the world in terms of fast food. 
Okay, I'm disassembling the single burger. As you can see here, this is kind of the way it came. You got a burger, onion, lettuce, tomato, and a spread. The spread is very similar to your like a like a Big Mac from McDonald's. It's kind of similar. It's in the same ballpark. We need some more secret sauce. Put this mayonnaise in the sun. Uh, it's kind of like a relish, Thousand Island kind of taste to it. So here we go. I'm going to take the single patty. I'll take the onion too. The single patty and the onion from the regular cheeseburger and put it on top of the 4x4 to make the infamous Penta Burger or the 5x5. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. 2,500 calories, right around there. So, uh, I'm really nervous. I have to eat this entire thing. <laughs> it's like one of those things where it's you don't really know how to eat it. You think you need like a fork, a fork and knife. I've been saving my energy the entire day to just to eat this hamburger. No fries, no drink, just the burger. Um, and I'll get into price and, and quality and, and convenience in a little bit later after I try to eat this burger. So this thing is a beast. You get one more look at it. There we go. It weighs a lot. I think it weighs like about a pound. Pound and a half, two pounds. <sighs> okay. In and out, five by five, Penta Burger going in. Nervousness just went down quite a bit. It is a tasty, tasty burger. It's falling apart and I can't help it. The burger's just gonna get messed up. So right away, obviously, a five by five means there's five patties and there's five slices of cheese, hence the name five by five. And this, it's just falling apart. It's, it's very messy, but I'll take another bite to kind of slim it down a bit. So to, just to be clear, this is, one bun, the top bun, five layers of onions. I think, well, I got an extra layer of onions because I took it from the other cheeseburger. One tomato, a ton of spread, lettuce. You can't even taste the lettuce because it's just completely engulfed in, in protein and in protein and cheese. I probably have shit on my face and I'm sorry, but I'm just going to eat this bad boy because it's fun and I love food. I got to put it down because my arms are tired. I can't hold it anymore. So I'm going to use the napkins that the restaurant guy, front end, de front desk guy gave me. So I'm going to try to use some ketchup with it to give it some extra flavor because I don't think it comes with ketchup unless you ask for it. You can actually go to the webpage and go um, in and out burgers, calorie counter or nutritional facts. They have a bunch of stuff um, lined up and it tells you the calorie contents, the carbs, the proteins. Um, I don't know. I just looked at the calories of this thing. I, I didn't take the time to research it that much, except for the actual company. Okay. Let's add some ketchup to it. So you can see me do it, since it's kind of on my lap. You can't really see it because of the camera angle. A beast. Like I said earlier, I ate a very, very small lunch because I knew I was going to be eating this thing today. I got off early from work, headed straight to In-N-Out. As it stands right now, I probably have a bunch of crap on my face and I don't care. I'm about halfway done. And I, you know, you can see me eat it. I feel the need to wipe my face really bad. I think the bun, the bun is like the only thing that's holding this thing together. And it's getting destroyed. <laughs> I wish you could see it here. See, it's like barely hanging on. I there goes my napkin. I lost my napkin. I'm done for. Now oh, it's like, you know, in the juice. It's getting in the juice. Screw it. Okay. Okay, people, I'm gonna sacrifice my napkin to clean up a bit. Should've got some water. What was I thinking starting this review without water? Go off camera, I can get some water, but I don't wanna. <sighs> okay, so I, I wanna say I have about five or six big more bites and um as it stands 
I'm not that full yet, so my nervousness of this challenge is starting to go down a bit. I only have about eight minutes left of recording time, <laughs> so I think I can do it. So a bit about the burger, the onion is a good flavor. You can obviously taste the meat because there's more, there's a lot of protein there, there's a lot of meat. Um, like I said, the tomato, it's good. The tomato comes through, it gets, it's kind of wet. It's a wet burger. Like I said, the lettuce is just, it's just demolished in meat. You can't really taste it unless you single it out like I just did. I also recommend if anybody else does this challenge on YouTube or on wherever, that you have a, um, excuse me, I choked on a piece of lettuce. A pre-game plan set up so that you don't have to leave your area. You can just sit down and eat it. I didn't think about that when I started this session. However, I do have some ketchup here that I'm going to put on the rest of this bad boy. So this is how much I have left. Oh, excuse me. As you can see, oh, it's just a tomato. Don't worry about it. Put on some ketchup here, right here too. We're good. It's messing with my stomach. Oh my god, it's so good. My stomach's like that's a lot of protein. A lot of protein. Really, really good burger. Really good burger, by the way. I think it's a little too much meat because the meat kind of overwhelms all the other flavors. You get. You definitely get the cheese in there, a lot of cheese. The burger's are really soft. There's not a whole lot of, I feel like the burger kind of like a, like a char burger. You know, like some burger places have like a char on them. This isn't one of them. I think they're just like on the uh, fry counter. They just fry them, not fry them, deep fry them, but like, you know what I mean, on the, uh, the cooker. So the spread comes through too. A lot of spread, which is good. You can also get it like animal style. There's a bunch of secret stuff. Everybody knows who's watching this video that's been in and out can tell you there's just like 20 different secret things on the menu. And getting a five by five is definitely one of them. I think I'm gonna do it. A little last bit here of ketchup. Wasn't that scary. Wasn't that scary, Penta Burger? I got you. I need water really bad. So, recently I did kind of cheat. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos on this challenge. If you can call it a challenge, I think it's just a little review. I saw some guy, some guy younger than I am, eat like a, a 12 by 12. He had like six doubles and we just stacked them up and it was like this high. Wow, it's just crazy and just and just engulfed it. Whew. So I'm getting kind of full, but I can take it down. Last couple bites here for the Penta Burger. This is the shell of the cheeseburger that I just ripped the meat out of. Vegetarian burger. I think you call it a vegetarian burger. Just carbs and lettuce. So final thoughts for my challenger, the Penta Burger, or the 5x5. Five five. You weren't that tough. Cause I beat you. Huh. To work out like every single day. And I guess that means I'm gonna just go to the gym and work it off. Work off 2,500 calories and like 180 grams of protein. Which is good for you. I mean, it's, it's, it'll take the nutrients. My body will absorb the fat. Ugh. Every single time I'm getting ready to do another food review, I just remind myself. You need, you need to spend an equal amount of time in the gym that you do doing these reviews because a bunch of the reviews that I do on food are not that healthy for you. YOLO. <sighs> so I'm just going to go ahead and put this single bun back once it came in the dungeon and wrap up this review. Vanquishing my foe. All 2,500 calories of it. I made a mess. I made a total mess going forward okay so I'm gonna spend the next three minutes just doing the review so convenience right on the top here California is known for In-N-Out excuse me although um, I think In-N-Out is also located in like Texas Utah Arizona Nevada 
and I want to say a few other places. So it's primarily West Coast in terms of convenience. If you live on, you know, that side of the United States, it's going to bother you because you don't have an in and out And I'm pretty sure you're sick and tired of hearing uh, West Coast people talk about in and out um, But I'm sure East Coast people have a, uh, an equivalent. So convenience, it goes down a few notches just because it's not available throughout the entire country. Quality. Um, it's high. Quality is pretty high. Of course, you get, you know, an all-meat <laughs> hamburger like I did. The quality is going to go down a bit simply because it's just overly meat. It's too much meat. So the burger kind of is lopsided in terms of protein and other flavors. You get more meat uh, flavor than all the other flavors. So it's not that balanced. But I did that on purpose just because I wanted to prove myself that I can do this challenge. Um, price. Uh, the whole thing ran me at right around 10 bucks. Um, like I said, you have a pretty, pretty, I'm pretty sure you've heard me say this before that you get what you pay for and you certainly do it in and out. Um, like I said, I didn't get a drink. I didn't get the sides. I didn't get fries or anything like that. I didn't get an animal style, protein style. I didn't get anything extra. Just the, just five by five big burger. So with that being said, um, I want to say it's a little bit more expensive than let's say it's counterparts, but in and out makes some good quality stuff. I highly recommend you going there if you do visit the West Coast. Make in and out one of your stops <laughs> if you like hamburgers like I do. So without with that being said, convenience is a little, low, low, a little lower than average just because it's on the West Coast. Quality is really high because they only make a few products and they're pretty clean back there. There's a bunch of people working back there so they, a lot of attention to detail. Ugh, and then um, price is, I want to say average, maybe less than average because it is pricey, but uh, like I said, you get what you pay for. So, um, and I think that's about it. I'm not quite sure when my next review is going to be, but I think I have an idea of what it is going to be. I'm going to try to stick to, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you because it's a secret, um, but maybe next week. But I think that's it for now. So catch you guys later. Bye.